Hello there, everybody. This is Mario Baby Thirteen here, and welcome to a visual novel called Dating a Fidget Spinner. I decided to play this game because one, it has fidget spinners in it, and some of you may know me right now that if there's a game with a fidget spinner, it's too hard to pass up. And so we're gonna go ahead and have ourselves a fun. We're gonna date this very beautiful fidget spinner. And maybe she's gonna spin in my role. Who knows? I mean, and then she's also gonna spin your role too. Who knows? Let's start. Okay. Whoa. What a manly looking principal. Another beautiful day to start off another beautiful school year. I hope this year I don't have to use my trademark my trademark and utterly unique catchphrase. Fidgety foo! <laughs> Last year I had a new record. I was saying it 17 times. My wife was very angry. Stop swearing, she said. And she said, what if I say fidgety foo? More than 17 times this year. She'll divorce me. <laughs> Hello, are you the principal? Oh, welcome. You must be the new kid, a.k.a. Student New Kid. Yes, that's me. I am a.k.a. Student New Kid. Well, that is an applicable name to your current situation. <laughs> yes, this is the second time having the student new kid was useful. When was the first time? Oh! When I slept with your mom. Let's not say that one. We're trying. We're gonna try our best to have our first, our first impression. Yeah, our first impressions aren't the important. We do not want to say, Hello, Mr. Principal Guy, I have slept with your mom. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go with this one. When I, when I went to my first school. Oh yes, I should have realized this isn't the first school you've been to. Anyway, it's great to have you here. Uh, Bidget, upper class. Key spinning skills, adolescence. Kids and everyone in the academy. For F sake, Academy for short. <laughs> Just let me check in with which class you're in. Oh, that's interesting. You're in class F5. We are very lucky to have another student starting in that class as well. Well, they're the first fidget spinner to have ever studied here. What? Did you say that one of the students is a fidget spinner? Oh yes, don't worry, you probably won't notice they are fidget spinner. They're very, they blend very easy. Oh yes, 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 definitely. The fidget spinner is, is blending in, so you won't be able to see them. But I see the fidget spinner right over here, and I would definitely date that fidget spinner. I will go ahead and send that fidget spinner on a romantic date, and then once you go over to my house, we'll go ahead and watch some hot buzz. You know, the Simon Pegg movie. And we're gonna go ahead and have, eat some popcorn and then possibly maybe we're going to sleep on the couch because because that we're so full on the food that we had from the very romantic date. Okay, hello, this is hello is this class F5? Yes it is, you must be the new kid. That's right, I'm the new I'm the student new kid. Wow, I can't believe one of the students is a fidget spinner. I can't tell which one. <laughs> I can't tell either. I am Clooney classmate. I am Dick Dancer. <laughs> no reason why. I am fidgety. I mean, I'm, I'm fidgy. I mean, fidge. I mean, I'm a normal human. Definitely not a kid's toy. <laughs> you're my kind of. You're my kind of toy. Alright students, come down and let's get studying. Today we'll be studying angular momentum. Does anyone know what this means? Angular momentum measures how fast things are rotating. <laughs> it's about shit. That's why Clooney it measures stuff that rotates. And I know one of you has a lot of experience with this. Am I right, Fiji? Cool. Really? I'm being found out. Hey, student new kid, what are you doing? I just about to go home, why? Well, would you mind walking home with me? I don't know anyone else, and I'm kind of scared walking home in a new neighborhood. 
Oh, sure, that's fine. I'm happy to help. Thanks, student new kid. It's this way. Oh, there's something different about Vinci. I can't put my finger on it. Come on, stu student new kid. Let's go. Maybe I'll learn more about her on the way home. So you probably just realized I'm a fidget spinner. Oh, man, I didn't realize that until you told me. Oh, so that's what it was. Now that you mention it, I was wondering where her arms were. I know what you think, I'm a freak. I can never make friends at school. That's why I had to move around so much. Move around? You mean that's why you spin around during break times? No, I just enjoy spinning. I meant moving houses. Ah, gotcha. I mean, right, gotcha. The more I move, the more people realize I'm a fidget spinner and want to play with me. Oh, I would love to play with you. It's never any cycle. Never any cycle. You mean he can't stop spinning? No, I can stop spinning whenever I want. Anyway, I'm lonely, and that's why I was wondering. Would you like to go on the school trip with me? You mean the cruise around the ocean? That's right, I don't know anyone else. You promise you'll... You promise you'll go with me? Sure. I mean, okay, sure, I'll go. Thanks, student new kid. It means a lot to me. Pidgey. Okay. Hey, give me a sec, everybody. This is thumbnail worthy. There we go. Okay, Pidgey isn't the only other fidget spinner I know. She's fun, sensitive, and girly. Just looking at her makes me dizzy. <laughs> Should I tell her how unique and special she is? Pidgey. Hey, a giant fidget spinner. Let's catch it. No, no, oh no, children, I better run! Yeah! After it, quick! They run off into the distance before you can make up your mind and run follow them. They're gone. You decide how you, how to tell her how you feel tomorrow. But oh, where's Fidgey? She's not around in the class yet. Please calm down while I introduce a new student. A lot of you were surprised when Fidgey turned out to be a fidget spinner, but I can guarantee this next student is definitely a human. Please put your hands together for Yo-Yo Jones. Oh man, that is one sexy looking Yo-Yo. Oh, I'm Yo-Yo. You can call me Yo. Huh? Who's that beautiful boy in the back row? Is she staring at me? I couldn't. She'd be looking at me, right? Wow, he's so dreamy. Can I sit next to the student new kid? Yay! But miss, where's Vigi gonna sit? Vigi, you mean Vigi's, you mean the fidget spinner? Now that you mention it, why is she is in class yet? She might be in trouble. Can I go look for her? Um, all right, just be, but be quick. Oh, I hope Vigi's all right. I can hear her voice coming from the hall. I don't care what people say about you. You're beautiful. Looking at you makes me dizzy. Student new kid. Dick, that was so nice. No one has ever said that about me before. I don't know what to say. Say he'll go on the school trip with me. And say he'll promise. But Dick, there's someone else. You ever already have a boyfriend? Not really. There's no problem. Should I do something? Burst in and talk to Fidgey. Stay back and see what happens. Oh! Let's see here. Let's see here, if I if I do that burst in, the Fidgey might like Dick more. I mean like if I were to burst in and talk to Fidgey, then it's like saying, Oh excuse me, I got I got to get myself a drink and then while you're saying that, you'll be separating the two. Then you'll be a complete jerk. <laughs> or that if we stay back and see what happens, meaning that Maybe, maybe Dick will convince her, uh, convi convince Fidgey to, to come along with him. Or the Fidgey will have to say no because she already gave a promise to Student New Kid, which is aka me, or all of you out there. Um, let's, let's just step back and see what happens. I've already asked someone on the school trip with me. Has he told you how wonderful you are? No, he hasn't. Do you like him? I don't know yet. Do you like me? You're nice. If he hadn't asked you first, would you go on the school trip with me? Yes. Then you should tell him you can't go with him anymore. 
You won't mind. Let me think about it. We should get back to class. You're right. So that's all it takes for her to change her mind? Someone new comes along and that's it? I'm not going with her anymore. So much for promises. Hmm, is that the principal over there? Fidgety Boo! Fidgety Boo equals one? Oh, I okay, because she because he said that so many times. The washing machines aren't working. Oh no, what am I gonna do? There are 60 boys sitting naked waiting for me to wash their clothes after the sports lesson. If I can't find some way to wash their clothes, imagine what will happen. He has a whole lot of dirty boys. I have been seeing your account. I was cold. I was naked. There's a lot of naked people. Fifty years ago, the story was that shocked the world into war. The principal caught what sixty naked students. I'm having a panic attack. I gotta find some way to keep these washing machines working. Principal, something wrong? Oh, your friends with Fidgy, right? Um, sort of. Um, can you go get her for me? I need a washing machine fix. Stat. Surely she can spin around and wash some clothes for me, right? Um, she... But you know she's kind of mean. I'm not sure she'd do it. Really? Absolutely not. The more I see Fidgy, the more I realize how selfish she is. I'm still in trouble. How am I going to wash all these clothes? Let me fix the washing machine. I can do it faster and save her than Fidgy could. The washing machine is in the other side of the school. There might be some junk nearby that can help you. Okay, all I need to do is to fix the washing machine. Not such a big deal, right? But she's not so special. Anything that she could do, I could do myself even faster. Hell yeah, man, who, who in the world would need a beautiful fidget spinner when you have your human hands and your human ingenuity to help you out? Oh, now, let's see here. There's a lot of junk here I could use to fix the washing machine. First thing, I need to start spinning stuff around. I could use an old plane propeller or an old spoon. Oh, man. Okay, so let's see here, an old plane propeller, that is gonna be, that is pretty big. I guess it depends on the size of the plane propeller. It could be one of those RC control, RC control plane propellers, or a wooden spoon. Let us try an old plane propeller. Or an old aeroplane propeller, will work nicely. Now what should I use as a power source? A lemon or a 9 volt battery. I mean, a 19 volt battery or a lemon. But see, lemons really do, really, lemons are indeed good, good conductors. I have seen a lemon clock before. Let's try a 19 volt battery. Excellent, it's a little bit powerful, but maybe it'll make the clothes even cleaner than usual. No! Okay, then. Do I need anything else? Uh, plug it into the wall. Shortly before passing out, you'll hear a big boom! I think the patient's waking up. Can you hear me? You have been in a terrible accident and exploding from a makeshift washing machine. <laughs> Can you please tell me your name? I am Student New Kid. Excellent. Note that down. The patient's awake and speaking. Can you open your eyes? Excellent, you seem to be getting better now very quickly. You might be here to you very soon. But first, let me ask you some questions. Let me make sure you're okay. This is called oh, a charge test. If I'll show you an image, you'll have to say the first thing that comes into your mind. What do you think of this image? <laughs> a horny fidget spinner. Interesting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A fidget spinner floating in the ocean. Alright, oh, just one more image that comes into mind. Wow! Looking down on the microscope at a wide chromosome that make up your DNA. Fidget spinners! Okay, I can understand you deeply. You are a mentally unstable, deranged person who is obsessed with fidget spinners. I think you need treatment. What kind of treatment, Doc? You need to be treated like my special patients by being thrown into the burning fire of my furnace. If you survive, then that shows you're flame proof. And hence, must be killed by drowning. No, Doc, I'm not ill. You gotta let me go. 
Stop trying to save yourself, you the rich lunatic! And get into the fire! <laughs> no! Object... Objecto spin! <laughs> Stop right there, Doc! The only water going in the flames will be you! Yeah! No, you defeated! No, defeated by fidget spinners! Again! Are you the king student, new kid? Yes, I am. But how do you know I was here? You've been missing for 60 days. At first I thought you had a disappearance on your own. Maybe you wanted some time alone or something. But then you didn't come to the school trip. And I knew something was wrong because you promised you would be there. So I came here to find you. That doesn't explain how I knew I was here. But anyways, everyone is waiting for us. Waiting for us to do what? Go on the school trip, silly. You're still coming. I've been kidnapped for 60 days and almost thrown into a furnace. Hey, you want me to go on the school trip? Yes, is that a yes? It has to be. You promised. Yay! I guess I could go on the school trip. What's the worst can happen? As you go on the school trip, which begins with the maiden voyage of the newest and biggest ship in the world, said to be unsinkable, the... <laughs> the Thai Spintanic. <laughs> Well, the Thai Spintanic is the world's is the first ship powered by fidget spinners. That's right. Finally, something I might be useful for. Fidgy, can we? Take stares at you. Stupid new kid, what are you doing here? Surprised, are you? Well, yeah, you've been missing for 60 days. 60, 60. No big deal. He's so dreamy. I'm I'm only here because Vichy asked me specially. Yeah, about that. What? You don't want me here? Of course I do. I mean, we promised. It's just I don't want you getting any weird ideas. We're just friends. All right. Uh, good old friends. Huh? Come on, Vichy. Let me show you how Vichy Spinner's powered ship. Oh yay! Dick Dancer leaves with his arms around Vichy. And a stupid grit on his face. Yeah, you look, look, you'll be, it looks like you'll be seeing on this school trip. Whatever, it doesn't bother me. I've been watching you from afar. Really? I don't care. You're very handsome, very macho. I like that. Aw, oh, thanks, whatever. Uh, there's something different about Yo Yo Jones, but I can put my finger on it. Maybe I'll learn more about her while talking to her right now. You probably already know this, but I'm actually a yo-yo. Oh, that's... Oh, that's what it was. Now that she mentions it, I was wondering where her arms and legs and body were. I think we should start dating, do you agree? If I say no, I'm... If you say no, I'm gonna kiss you anyway. Oh, man, here's the thing. This fit is fitchy. Let's see here. Do we really want to get fitchy jealous? Huh. Or well, there's no point in being uh, there's no point in being alone in a big giant ship like this. I guess sure, because it looks like Dick and Bitchy are having a good time with each other. So sure, let's go start dating. Uh oh, you're kissing a yo-yo. Bitchy, it's not like that. Uh oh. Did we crash into something? Oh no, Dick Dancer is still on the edge of the ship. Betchy, no! It's too dangerous! Oh, the boat's sinking again! I gotta go see Bitchy! Bitchy, what happened to Bitchy? I was knocked over the edge. Just before I fell, Bitchy grabbed me and helped me back up. I was climbing back on the ship when the second shake happened. I grabbed her arm. Bitchy, I pulled it over the edge. She's in the water. Bitchy, can you hear me? She must be on the water. Wait, no, what have I done? I don't deserve to be alive. She's gone, student new kid. It's only a matter of time until she drowns, or, or she's still sucked up by a propeller. It's worse than yo-yo. Even if, she, even if we stay bitchy somehow, we crash into an iceberg the entire ship is sinking. We have only a minute before we're on the water. Bitchy boo! Now, as the brand seat keeper beneath the waves, the ship slowly sinks down. Will they be able to escape alive? And if they survive, will they be able to tell each other how they feel? 
Wait, well, not next time. I'm fidget spinner. Dina, fidget spinner too. To be continued. The end. Thanks for playing. Holy crap. I mean, that was a bit. That was definitely intense. Oh man. I mean, I have no idea that fidget spinner dating would be this difficult. <laughs> but man, if you all have a fidget spinner that you all want me to date, please let me know in the comment section below. But anyways. I'm hoping that you all have a good time, and I hope to see you again next time, and don't forget if a fidget spinner asks you out, make sure you date the fidget spinner first before you date the yo-yo, or date your cat, <laughs> you know, I'm kidding about dating the cat part, but anyways, you all have a good time. Let's go ahead, we can now have time for another experiment. We're going to try to do this thing. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to need is to create some more flamicide. I guess create I guess going to create some more flamicide. We need coal. And let's see we got some coal in there. Now then we're gonna need some aqua vitae. Aquavate. Okay now then let's go ahead and place this thing into here. 